Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make this granny square cardigan or granny square jacket. So follow along. To start off, what I did was take a measurement of one granny square and then took the measurements of my shoulders and then how far I wanted it down on my arm and figured out how many squares went into that. And then I mapped everything out and counted how many of each color I needed. And if you're new to the granny square game, I made a video last week showing you how to make this granny square here. So to start off, we are going to grab our working end yarn. We're going to fold it in half a little bit past the tail, pull that little loop through the corner, and chain one with both your tail and your working end. Now drop your tail end, and we are going to chain one again just to lock that in then single crochet into the same corner and now we're going to single crochet around so just going and working in the top of every stitch i just want to say if i was to do this again i would only do the chain two in the corner and not the single crochet as well here you can see that I am incorporating both the tail ends from the blue and the gray and I'm just keeping them laying flat on top of my square there so that I can single crochet around them and then they get incorporated at the same time. And then we're just going to continue till we get to the corner. Okay, now we are at the corner here. I'm just going to finish up, there we go, into the last one here. And then into the corner now, we are going to make three single crochets, two and three. And then we're going to repeat working into the top of every stitch and doing three single crochets into each corner until the end of the row. So into our last corner here, what we're going to do is complete two single crochets, one, two, and then we're going to attach it to the top of our first chain two or our first stitch there using a slip stitch. So slip stitch that, do a chain one and then pull through a big loop and cut that off. Now do this to the rest of your squares and we'll see you in the next step. Warning, warning, what you're about to see is false information. So here I had the white and the light blue in opposite positions. They should be swapped around, but I didn't notice till I was on my second row. But thankfully, attaching them is the exact same no matter what color combination you have going. So with a center loop of each square, on the same stitch of each square, we're going to pull through a little loop made with our tail and our working end, then chain one with both of those, drop our tail end, and then working into the center loops only, we are going to create a slip stitch. If you want your ridge to be a little bit higher and you want to incorporate your tail at the same time, then continue doing a single crochet. Or if you want your project laying flat, you can do a basket weave, you can do a ladder stitch, um, mattress stitch, you can just look up um, how to connect pieces and there's some fun ways that you can do it. So have fun, be creative, and yeah, just do you. And continue stitching till you get to the next corner. So sandwiching your other two pieces together, right sides facing out, we're going to just continue moving on. So in through the center of each square, and I like to start with the center of the corner there, which would be the second stitch. And yeah, so we just slip stitch that together, pull through all the way, and now it's joined. Continue this across the row. Okay, so this is what it's going to start to look like. So just keep in mind that my pattern is wrong here and that I haven't realized it yet. Um, the white and the light blue need to be flipped around. 
Um, so just continue on making it to what your pattern is, your color pattern is, and to however many squares it is long and however many squares it is wide. So in total I am using nine squares across, so from elbow to elbow, and five squares long from shoulder to buttox area. <laughs> Um, then if you need to, you can go back to the beginning of the video around the one minute mark to see my pattern and my diagram, stitch everything together how it is put out on the diagram, and try it on occasionally as you are putting it together just so you know that you're doing it correctly. So once everything's together, this is the sleeve here now. We are going to start on making the rest of the sleeve, but tapered. So I'm going to insert my hook. Doesn't really matter where you insert it. I'm trying to do it, I believe, at the bottom of my sleeve. And I'm going to pull through with my tail end and my working end, and then make a chain one with both of them. And then I'm going to drop my tail end. Then I'm going to chain one then doing a half double decrease. It's a little bit hard to see, I'm kind of pushing them together. We're gonna go in through here. I'm going to also incorporate my tail ends at the same time so that there is less for me to try and weave in at the end. So pull through, then insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through all the loops on your hook. And that is a half double crochet decrease, or at least how I'm doing it here. Then continue crocheting four crochet or four <laughs> half double crochets, and then we will do another decrease on the fifth stitch. Three and four, and now a half double decrease. We're going to do a normal half double, don't pull through though, then go through the next stitch, pull through, and then pull through all four on your hook. Then we're just going to repeat this around. So now four half double crochets and then a decrease of one. Okay, so on this row I am ending on a half double crochet. If you're ending on a decrease, that's totally fine too. So join together this row and then we are going to chain two. One and two, and then we're going to do half double crochets across the row. Okay, so one last half double crochet here, and then we're going to attach this row. Now chain two, and we're going to make a half double decrease, then half double crochet, one, two, and three, and then we're going to make a half double decrease again. And then continue this to the end of the row. This row I will be ending on a half double decrease and then join your row together with a slip stitch. I'm going to chain two and then work one half double crochet into each stitch around. Then when I get to the end of the row, I'm just going to finish up my half double crochet and then attach with a slip stitch to end my row. Chain two and then half double decrease again. And then we're going to do two half double crochets in between each decrease all the way around. So two half doubles and then one decrease again. Okay, so I am ending my row here with a half double decrease and then finishing off with a slip stitch into the top of my first chain. Chain two, and then we're going to do a half double crochet into each stitch across. Okay, now slip stitch to join that row and then chain two. 
Now on this row, we're going to do a half double decrease, then one half double crochet, and then another half double decrease. So half double crochet, and then another half double decrease. And then just continue this across the row. So I'm ending this row off with a half double decrease, and then I am attaching it with a slip stitch through the top of my chain two. This is what the end is going to look like. So we're going to do half double posts and then um, halfway up we're going to change that to double crochet posts. But if I was to do this again, I would only double crochet posts. So chain two and then we're going to go through the back having the stitch on the front of the needle and then do a half double crochet. Then we're going to alternate, so having the stitch at the back there going through the front of it, we're going to do a half double crochet. Going through the back to the front is the next one, half double crochet. Then continue this across the row. Okay, so I'm ending off with a front post, half double crochet, then I'm going to attach with a slip stitch to end my round. Next, chain two, and then we're going to do the exact same thing around, just keeping, um, if it was protruding, then make sure it continues to protrude, and if it is on the back, make sure it continues to be on the back if that makes sense. <laughs> Words are hard, okay? <laughs> um, basically, just repeat the last row that you did. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up here with a front half double post and then slip stitch to join. Now chain two. Now this time we're gonna do double crochet posts and instead of going in through the big kind of loop there, we're just going to go in through the tops of the posts before. So half double crochet posts and in through this one here and not this one here. So up here, through there, and then double crochet post. And continue that across the row. And again, slip stitch to join and chain two to begin our next round. And again, we're just gonna make a double crochet post in the top of each previous one. Okay, and then slip stitch to join and end that row. And then again, we're gonna chain two and double crochet post into each of the following stitches. I know I just did a half double in that first one and I did not mean to. Then again slip stitch to join and chain two and we're gonna just repeat this again but don't worry because this is our last round. All right slip stitch to join and then chain one and pull through then break your yarn. I recommend using scissors this hurts and you are done with your sleeve. And this is what it looks like. Now just repeat this for the next one. Now for the border of the cardigan, we're gonna start in the middle of the granny square on the back. I'm going to insert my hook, pull through a loop with both the tail and the working end, and then chain two one time with both of the tail and the working end, and then drop your tail, and then just once with the working end. Then I'm going to start working half double crochets into each stitch until we get to the corner. Okay, when you get to the corner, we're gonna do a half double crochet. Don't pull through though. Then we're gonna pull up a loop through the next stitch and then pull up a loop through the next stitch as well 
and then pull through all five of those on your needle. Then we're going to do a half double crochet again and pull through and we're just going to continue half double crocheting until we get to the bottom of the front panel. Okay, once you get down to the corner, we're going to work into the middle stitch here, three half double crochets, two, three, and then just continue working your half double crochets across till you get to the next corner and do the exact same thing all the way around. Now repeat the same thing at the next corner in the center uh, stitch of the corner. We're going to make three half double crochets and then just continue working half double crochets up the front of the cardigan till you get to the corner again at the back. Okay, back up at the top of the cardigan, we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch, but do not pull through. Then we're going to slip stitch into the next two, um, also not pulling through, just pulling up a loop, and then we're going to pull through all five loops. Then continue half double crocheting until you get to the start of our row. You know the drill by now, slip stitch to join, and then we are going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to do alternating front and back double crochet posts all the way around. At the corner here, we're going to slip behind all of the five um, stitches that we went through on the previous round and just work one double crochet post into that and then just continue working your alternating double crochet posts till you get down to the bottom of the cardigan. Okay, now for the corner here, we're going to do a front double post and then working into the same one, we're going to do a back double post. So going the other way into the exact same stitch, double post, double crochet. And then we're going to go into the next one, doing a front double post again. And then into the back of that same one, we're going to do another double post. And then into the next stitch, a front double post. And then again into the back of that same stitch, we're going to do a back double post. I'm going to drop my stitch there. Let's try and pick that up. There we go. And then pull through one, two times. And then we are just going to continue working alternating front and back double posts until the next corner. And then we will repeat this step. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat the same steps from the last corner. We're going to insert and do a front double post, and then in the same stitch we're going to insert through the back and do a back double post, and then the same for the next two post stitches. Pull through all those, now front double post. And then in the same stitch working a back double post. And then into the next stitch, same thing, we're going to work a front double post. And then in the same stitch, we're going to work a back double post. And then just continue up the cardigan, alternating front and back double posts 
until you get to the next corner. Okay, we're gonna work the next corner stitch here. Like any other stitch, we're just gonna go in through the back so that it's on the front and then do a front double post crochet into it. And then we're gonna work doing double crochet posts until we get to the beginning of our row again. Once you get back to the beginning of the row, just slip stitch to join, chain one, pull through, and then we are done with that. Um, next step is just to weave in all of our ends and then give it a wash and we're done! Yay! So to finish off, flip your work inside out and then we're going to weave in the ends. Now, there's no real rhyme to this I kind of just wing it um, and then I will do a slip stitch around one um, little loop and then pull that tight so that it kind of just locks it in place and then I will kind of weave in the end of that as well and honestly every single string that I weave in I swear I do it differently <laughs> Like I said, there's no rhyme, there's no reason, or there is a reason, but there's no like rhyme to it. It just, I try and make it look as best as I can and kind of as fast as I can, depending on what the project is for. So continue weaving in all your ends and we are done. I'm going to throw this into the wash and then into the dryers on delicate and then yeah this is what the end project looks like. I'm really proud of it. This was a gift for somebody and they absolutely loved it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a lot of fun making this and just having some creative liberty with it. You don't have to follow exactly what I did. You can make it your own project. So yeah, have fun and I will see you in the next one. Bye!